Okay, so what we have here is acetone and water. Acetone is a nonpolar liquid. Water is a polar liquid. Um, that has to do with the shapes of the molecules and how uh, well they are sharing the electrons or unequally sharing electrons. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna take two strips of paper and put a line on each of them with pencil. We use pencil because pencil doesn't get dissolved in either polar or nonpolar liquids. Um, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to take two different markers, a orange permanent marker and a black washable marker. And I'll put a dot on each. There is our permanent dot. And then here is our black dot. And this one's gonna go into the water, so I'll give it a W label. It's a good idea to label um, this one, uh, label which liquid you're putting them in. This is gonna be our acetone, so I've got, I've got these labeled now. And I'm gonna time lapse it and put them in here, suspend them from a pencil, and we will see as the liquid gets drawn up the paper how well it dissolves the two different types of markers. Um, one of our phrases we use is like dissolves like, so if the washable marker gets dissolved and pulled up the paper, that means that um, it's the same polarity as the liquid. What I mean by that is um, if the water pulls up the washable, that tells you the washable is polar. If it doesn't, then it tells you that the washable must be nonpolar. Watch as the acetone moves the permanent marker but not the washable, and vice versa with the water moving the washable but not the permanent marker. This tells us that the permanent marker is nonpolar and the washable is polar.